Hello, viewer. Thanks for watching. But if you're anything like me, you've been taking a break from social media on account of the piss boiling level of gaslighting and lies surrounding the Paul Pelosi attacker that is currently raining down on us like a tsunami of white phosphorus. But this specific clip from CBS News yesterday stands out to me. For one, gigantic lie told about a big story that deserved way more attention than it got. I want to ask you about this when it comes to political violence. On your Twitter feed, you posted this video we're going to show just a few days ago where you're firing a gun and it says, enjoyed exercising my Second Amendment rights. <laughs> Why did she just say gun like that? Firing a gun. What exactly is wrong with him exercising his natural, constitutionally protected right? What do guns even have to do with this story? Not a damn thing! Just a few days ago, where you're firing a gun, and it says, enjoyed exercising my Second Amendment rights, hashtag fire Pelosi. Why is there a gun? Wow, she is just really pouring it on there. Why is there a gun? in a political ad at all. I wasn't an ad. Hashtag I was, I was tweeting tweet. out. I was tweeting out Hashtag something that I had just done. Hashtag fire Pelosi with a weapon. Well, now Wouldn't you're... a pink slip be more fitting if it's about firing her? It's interesting, Mark. Why a gun? It's interesting. Just a reminder, Republican Congressman Tom Emmer has absolutely nothing to do with this attack, nor does this attack have anything to do with guns. It's strange, but not strange, that these people have seized on criticism of Democrats for supposedly inciting this violence, which is obviously not a standard that applies to them, since they spend 24-7 demonizing the Republicans. It's interesting, Margaret. Why a gun? It's interesting, Margaret, that we're talking about this this morning when a couple of years back when a Bernie Sanders supporter shot Steve Scalise. Which was horrendous when a Bernie and Sanders horrific, supporter which is shot why we Steve should Scalise, be not I never heard you weapons. or anyone else in the media trying to blame Democrats for what happened. We, we did on extensive what we're all coverage doing. of what happened to Ex Steve Scalise. Me? There's extensive Nobody news coverage. Tried. That is one big pile of shit. No, f*** that. This lying, scumbag, Democrat Party operative is attempting to rewrite history on the fly here because she wasn't prepared for his response. Extensive coverage, she says. Not only was there not extensive coverage of the GOP baseball game attack on CBS News, there wasn't extensive coverage anywhere. But you don't have to take it from me because CBS News admitted it a year later. Well, you note that the way this shooting faded from the news and from people's minds, that it was relatively quickly that this news faded. Why do you think that's significant? It's significant because America would be very different had two dozen people, approximately two dozen people, been shot dead last summer. Just think about all of the outcome that would have come from that, right? There would have been funerals. There would have been special elections. Exactly. This guy almost assassinated half the GOP Senate. That's a big story, way bigger than January 6th. Most importantly and least reported fact out there, good luck finding it, the shooter was screaming, this is for healthcare, as he fired at the Republicans. You see, at the time, both Democrats and the media were attacking Republicans for opposing Obamacare. There wasn't a single story out there in the media linking Democrats or their rhetoric to this violence. And most infuriating, the FBI attempted to cover the whole thing up as suicide by cop. All the details added up to a political attack. Years later, the FBI finally admitted that it was a domestic terrorist attack. But instead of being constantly reminded about it, they let it go down the memory hole for obvious reasons. We need to stay we focused on what we're all doing. We did extensive coverage of what happened to Ex Steve Scalise. There is extensive Nobody news coverage. Tried. Well, you note that the way this shooting faded from the news and from people's minds, that it was relatively quickly that this news faded. But wait, Margaret Brennan said that the story was extensively covered. Is she calling these reporters liars? Not only did CBS News nor the rest of the media ever suggest that Democrat rhetoric had anything to do with this attack, but they actually tried to blame Republicans and Donald Trump for it. Today marks two years since House Minority Whip Steve Scalise suffered life-threatening injuries when a gunman opened fire during a practice for the annual congressional baseball game. The book is about, you mentioned trying to bring people together, um, and you talk about the gunman, and that's describing that gunman, but we've also seen an increase in violence on the far right, for example. What role do you see leaders like yourself on both sides of the aisle play, playing in bringing down the tension and the fractured divisions that have emerged over the last couple of years. When you say, you know, call on everyone to sort of try to tamp down, does that include the president? 
because a lot of people feel that he's really contributed to this um, type of language that at times can be inflammatory. That oh, something, there's something short of a death threat, though. There's sort of uncivil language that we've kind of seen Low IQ rise individual. In. Stone cold loser. Low oh, IQ individual. Or, uh, un fucking real. There's extensive Nobody tried pressure. to equate Democrats' rhetoric. People that I'm not say, talking about your rhetoric. I'm talking about what you posted. You're insane. shooting a gun. Our viewers just saw it. Yeah, right. Hashtag fire Pelosi. Exercising our Second Amendment rights, having That's fun. That's not a debate about the Second Amendment. Yeah. That's not a debate about the Second Amendment. Hashtag yes, fire Pelosi. Yes, it is. I, I'm, Do you I'm running not the understand that that is suggestive to people who are in a bad state and in this current environment, how risky it is? Why is she talking to this guy? Guy and not Joe Biden, who a week after a speech where he called half the country semi-fascist, one of his supporters mowed down a teenager in his car because he said he was an extremist Republican. As you're talking well, I, about I the importance of lowering the rhetoric. I disagree with Why you. Why do you leave that up? Again, I never saw anyone after Steve Scalise was shot by a I'm Bernie Sanders right supporter now. trying to equate, is happening equate Democrat now. rhetoric with those actions. Please don't do that. that Fucking A. Come to think of it, is this a debate about the First Amendment? She seems to be really hung up on this fire Pelosi message. Are we not allowed to say fire Pelosi? They're seriously not only trying to outlaw their political opponents, but criticism of the Democrats as well. But of course, the same standard does not apply to them. It's totally different when they endlessly demonize Republicans. The obvious issue here is that since the media is an extension of the Democrat Party, they're not going to blame Democrats for inciting this violence because doing so would mean blaming themselves. If you own a Chevrolet, I hate to tell you, but they sponsored this embolism inducing propaganda. Stop giving them your money. All right, folks. Folks, that's all for that one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe. Then make sure to leave a comment to vent those frustrations. Thanks a lot.